Hello, welcome everybody. This is Dr. Bolad, board certified physician in cardiology, interventional cardiology and internal medicine, certified by the American Board of Internal Medicine. If you are new to this channel, then definitely consider hitting the subscribe button below and switch on the notification bell so you don't miss any new videos that I post. For my subscribers, thank you for your continued support. Today, I will talk to you about the top five cardiac tests we perform commonly to assess heart health. The commonest test is the electrocardiogram, commonly abbreviated as the ECG and in the United States abbreviated as the EKG. The ECG is the most important test for interpretation of cardiac rhythm ab conduction abnormalities and the detection of myocardial ischemia, which is reduced blood supply to the muscle of the heart. The ECG is also used in the evaluation of other types of cardiac abnormalities, including valvular heart disease, certain types of heart muscle abnormalities, referred to as cardiomyopathies, diagnosis of inflammation of the covering of the heart, referred to as pericarditis, and heart disease secondary to high blood pressure. The ECG grid is a plot of voltage on the vertical axis against time on the horizontal axis. The electrodes are connected to a galvanometer that records a potential difference. The needle of the ECG is deflected a given distance depending upon the voltage measured. The second test is the transthoracic echocardiogram, generally referred to as echocardiogram or echo. Transthoracic echocardiography is a widely available, reproducible, non-invasive imaging modality for quantitative and qualitative evaluation of cardiac anatomy and function. Transthoracic echocardiography provides thin slice imaging of the heart. Comprehensive echocardiographic examination typically involves imaging the heart from multiple viewing orientations. Transthoracic echocardiography is often used as a first-line cardiac imaging modality owing to its wide availability, non-invasiveness, and lack of radiation exposure. The third test is cardiac stress testing, which is an important diagnostic and prognostic tool in the evaluation and management of patients who are either known or suspected to suffer from heart disease. The most commonly used and widely available stress test modalities are exercise electrocardiography, and pharmacological stress combined with imaging, such as echocardiography imaging or radionuclide myocardial perfusion imaging. The choice of stress test modality depends on many factors, like, for example, the ability to perform adequate exercise or whether the resting ECG is normal. Cardiac stress testing is performed to evaluate non-invasively the coronary arteries of patients with symptoms of angina to evaluate valvular heart disease for hemodynamic effects of the severity of the aortic or mitral valve narrowing, to evaluate heart rate response to exercise, and to risk stratify patients before planned elective non-cardiac surgery under general anesthesia. The fourth test is heart catheterization, also called cardiac catheterization, also referred to as cardiac CAS. This is an invasive procedure that we perform to evaluate certain heart problems to understand how the patient's heart is working. Common reasons for performing this test are to evaluate the coronary arteries after having angina or an abnormal stress test, or to evaluate abnormal heart valve conditions such as narrowed or leaky heart valves, or to evaluate an enlarged or weak heart. The fifth test is cardiac imaging such as computerized tomographic imaging, known as CT scan and cardiac magnetic resonance imaging, abbreviated as MRI. CT scan uses radiation where MRIs do not. These imaging tests emerge as options for non-invasive evaluation of the heart in clinical practice. These tests can be supplemented by the use of contrast to evaluate the arterial system and the chambers of the heart and would then be referred to as cardiac CT angiography or cardiac magnetic resonance imaging with contrast. These tests are used to evaluate cardiac muscle disease, heart valve disease, aortic disease, and disease of the pericardium, which is the covering of the heart. If you have any question about what I presented to you today, then subscribe to my channel and share your question in the comment section below, and I will reply to you. If you have a question that you would not like to share in public, 
Then follow me on Twitter at Dr. Bolad and send me a private Twitter direct message and I will reply to you. Please like and share this video with family and friends. This is Dr. Bolad helping you with your heart health. Thanks for watching and talk to you soon. Mm -hmm.